Hello and welcome everybody to another puzzle challenge video with chessuniversity.com. This is Ryan Murphy and we've moved on to the weekend puzzle so we're now in the difficult part of the week. Uh, the puzzle for today and tomorrow will both be sort of at the top end of the difficulty spectrum and uh, I would say the intended audience would be, I'd say players around 2000 can, can get a lot out of this and should be able to solve them. Um, and of course anyone under 2000 is also free to try to solve them but they are going to get more challenging. So. Uh, this one comes from the game Dragoon against Zhang, played on chess.com. Uh, Dragoon's a grandmaster, Zhang's a pretty strong player, over 2,000 on the website. And it's black to play and win. Um, the move is not found by black in the game, but again, blitz game, so these things happen. Um, but there's a nice combination here for black to, to basically win a lot of material. And uh, hopefully you guys can solve that. And as usual, we're going to take a look at how we got here and arrived at this critical moment in the game. Uh, this is move 18, so we're just going to be looking through the opening and early middle game. As you might have guessed from the structure we saw in, in the beginning, uh, this came from a Sicilian, specifically a bishop b5 check, uh, canal attack Sicilian, bishop d7 played in this game, takes takes, and white goes for the Meroxy bind structure, which is the typical plan. After trading off the light squared bishop, white aims to put pawns on light squares and to grip d5, very common uh, and logical way to play the position. Knight c6, black's going after the dark squares, specifically the d4 square. d4 played, it's important to do this now, otherwise black's going to go g6, bishop g7, and it'll be difficult for white to get this move in, so timing is important. Takes, takes, g6, knight c3, bishop g7. Now white has to react to the threat against the knight, bishop e3 is the most logical move, uh, though you could also move the knight back and keep more keep more attention that way, but bishop e3 is very logical. Knight f6, f3, over protecting the pawn on e4, and castles b3. And white pretty much has a very standard setup here. Uh, one thing that you have to watch out for as white is that this knight on c3 is hanging, so there's some tactical ideas down the c-fall invo involving a timely b5 break, um, and also of course on the long diagonal. So black has a lot of dynamic potential, though Structurally speaking, white should be better because of the extra space. It's not uh, not so easy to prove in practice. So, okay, a6. One major idea is, of course, to play b5, like I just mentioned. Uh, white finally castles, and now knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, and immediately b5. The queen on d7 supports this move, so it's totally fine. And black is looking for this pawn break anyway to alleviate some of the space issues that they experience. So cb5. A, B5, and now A4. Kind of risky, um, trying to get a passed pawn going on the queen side, uh, but this pawn may just end up being kind of very weak. It's already under attack a lot. So, takes. Pawn takes was chosen, and rook up C8, and black's got all their stuff going on the queen side. Um, and as usual, there's a lot of latent potential down this diagonal, like I highlighted earlier. Uh, knight B5 was played, now rook C4. Again, trying to gang up against this pawn, which is currently sufficiently covered, but, but just barely. Uh, queen b3 was played. And now, actually, this is our, our key moment. So here it's black to play and win. Uh, hopefully you guys can solve it. If you want to take a stab at it, you can check out the link in the description and uh, post your suggested answer on the official website link. So if you get the answer uh, submitted to us before we post the solution uh, tomorrow, you can get rewards points on your account. So I hope you guys check that one out. Uh, thanks for watching this vid, and I'll see everybody tomorrow.